What's up, everybody? Gibson's Law Service checking back in with another one. Look, this, this message is for the wives and girlfriends of entrepreneurs. And, and here's why I say this message is for the wives. Um, I, I look, It don't matter who you is. Like, I've talked to several guys, and all of them say the same thing when they are trying to get a business off the ground. Uh, my wife's saying I'm working too much. My wife say I'm not here. I'm putting the I'm putting the, the business before the family. Listen, I admit I've done that. I've done that. These past five years, like I say, I've been in business since 2014. But like I say, my first three to four years, I should have been paying my clients. <laughs> but look, here's what I'm really want to talk about. Okay. The whole time of me trying to get my business off the ground, I lost a lot of family time. I lost a lot of time with my wife. I lost a lot of time with my daughters. I had to sacrifice. I chose to put the business first because I seen in the future where if I can get out of my full-time job, I can get my time back. And here's what I mean by I can get my time back. I get, look, check this out. I was working I was, work, I was working all day in my business and all night in my full-time job. So those were my top two priorities. And I hate to say that, but I'm just being honest here. My family, they kind of came on the back burner. Now, I, that is what I had to do. I had to do that in order to get to where I need to be, to get to where I'm trying to go. I had to do that. And listen, here's what I'm, here's what I'm getting at. All right, hold up. First of all, I want to say this. A lot of guys, you'll talk to a lot of guys, they'll be like, man, my wife, she on me. She said, I'm not there. I'm not spending enough time with the kids, but I can't do both, man. I'm tired of my full-time job, I'm trying to get my business off the ground. And then I'm, 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 I'm trying to get them. They time, you have to, somebody got to get cut out. You have a pie, right? I don't care, you, I don't care how you slice that pie. You're going to run out. Everybody's not going to get a slice of that pie. You have a pie. You can slice it however you want. You can slice it into a bunch of tiny pieces. Everybody's not gonna get a. Everybody's not gonna get a piece. Everybody is not gonna get it. I'm gonna be honest. My pie went like this. My pie got cut in half. Half of it went to Gibson's Lawn Service. The other half, I would cut three quarters of a piece. That go to my full time job. This little piece, that's what my family get. And that's sad to say that, but a lot of guys need to be honest with y'all. When y'all take on this entrepreneur journey, wanting to start a business, this is what it takes. You have to make a lot of sacrifices. And I admit, my wife was upset plenty of times. I wasn't going to family functions, her family, my family. I wasn't going to this, I wasn't going to that. I was missing my daughter's soccer game, softball game. She was upset. She was. She did not like that. But I knew what I had to do because now today, Guess what I'm going to do Saturday? I'm going to be with my family all day and all night Saturday. I'm going to be with my family all day Sunday and all day Sunday night. See, before I couldn't do this. And you know what she told me after I quit? She's, she, look, she put, the, she put this comment in one of my videos. She said, uh, everything is finally starting to pay off. I appreciate all the sacrifices you made for us and the family. See that? See, she couldn't see what I, she couldn't see what I seen. And a lot of a lot of y'all, y'all wives, y'all girlfriends, they own you right now because you're working too much. I'm gonna be honest, you got to ignore it. You got to ignore it, load up, go to work, and then deal with the consequences when you get back. This is the only way you're gonna get your business off the ground and be successful. You have to ignore everybody else, put the grind first, put your full-time job second, and then put your family third. Man, that's that's that sucked to say that. I see when I was in that and I was saying that, the grind come first, and people was like, man. Money ain't everything. That business don't mean that. But see, now I can say, hey, man, put the grind first. I'm going to put the business first, my family say. You see, I can control my hours now. My mind's already made up. Monday through Friday, 7 to 7. Saturdays, I ain't doing nothing. Sundays, I'm not doing nothing. You see, now my family's going to get all the time they need. Or if I need to, uh, I'm going to shut down at 3, load it up on the next day. I got a family event I need to be at. You can control your time more now. In the beginning, you couldn't control your time. And that's what I be trying to get a lot of guys to see. Man, listen, I understand your wife, man. You just need to ignore it right now. Go get your money, man. 
Go get your money or build your business and then come back. They will see what it is you're trying to do. See, now my wife sees it. Oh, man, okay, I see what he was trying to do now. In that moment, it didn't matter. Like, you can be care, you can be care, you can be helping somebody move a table, right? And then a wasp come out of nowhere and sting. Ah! You drop the table. And then when you drop the table, they drop it out their hand and stomp their toe. If you would have just went through, oh man, they bit me. They bit me. Oh well, oh well, deal with it. And then on, you'll come out on the other side better. The whole time you, now imagine if I would have, okay, I take the weekends off. Okay, I missed this day to go to my kids' soccer game. Whole time my business falling apart, but I want to make sure my, my, my family happy. I want to make sure my wife happy. No, I ain't going, I, I'm not going. I ain't such a soccer game at uh, 4 o'clock. I ain't going to make it. I can't go. All you want to do is work. All you want to do is work. But see, I knew what I was trying to accomplish. I knew what I was trying to accomplish. So now, man, I took the wrong doggone turn talking to y'all. I'm a, I'm a U-turn. So now, hey, such a such soccer game at 3. Okay, I'll be there. You see, you have to make that sacrifice. You have to ignore everybody. Ignore them. Ignore them. Man, you saying ignore your wife? To a certain extent, I am saying that. And you going to see it too. See, now my wife can call me, hey, can you come home? The kid's sick. Let me hit this last two and I'll be home. See, I don't have to be like, man, you knew I had to work. As soon as I get off, I got to get ready to go to my full-time job. You knew I had to see. I don't have to, I don't have, to have none of those conversations no more. I don't have to have none of those conversations anymore. We made it. And you can make it too if you just man up and say, hey, look, I ain't coming to the family reunion. I got to go do this. Money don't mean. See, all you care about is money. Nope. I care about building this business so I can have all the time in the world. You have to go through the sacrifice. You have to go to the hard part to get to the other side.